Hey everyone, Joe here. Welcome to part 10 of the Audacity Accelerator course. In this part, we're gonna learn how to record vocals over a backing track. So if you're performing over music or you're recording multiple separate parts of a song, anything like that, this video is gonna show you exactly how you can do that. The first step to recording to a backing track is bringing in the backing track itself. So if you've been following on, along with this course, you'll know that you can do that by going to File, Import Audio, or you can simply drag it in. Now, uh, Audacity does support a lot of file formats, WAV, MP3, AIFF. There are some formats that it doesn't support, so you'll have to convert your audio to a, a supported format or install the, uh, the library that will allow you to import the, the correct format. If you, I'll leave a link on the screen now to part two that shows you how to get that installed. So we've just got a little piece of music imported into there. Let's just hit play, make sure it's all working. Um, you can adjust adjust the level so that it's, it's uh, an appropriate level that you want to be performing or speaking over. And you're of course going to need your instrument plugged in or your mic plugged in and all working. If you're not sure how to get that set up and recording through through your instruments and mic, again, I'll, I'll leave the links to the previous parts in the course in the description below. Now, if you wanna be able to hear the backing track while you're recording, there's one setting that you need to make sure is turned on. It should be on by default, but let's check. We go to Edit, Preferences, and then Recording. And then you've got this option right here at the top, play other tracks while recording overdub. So if you're performing over some music, over a backing track, you're gonna want that, you're gonna to wanna to hear the music. Um, maybe if you're recording uh, over a guitar lesson that you've recorded, um, some some commentary, anything like that, this this is gonna be what you need. So I've got that, that set. Now I'm just gonna record a little bit of dialogue over this just to demonstrate. Now, if you're recording uh, your voice with a microphone, you're gonna need to use headphones because um, otherwise if you've got your speakers playing out, the, then the, the speaker sound is gonna go back into the microphone, which you don't want. I'm just gonna grab my headphones here. So plug our headphones into the interface. Okay, now whenever you're recording, whether that's an instrument or your vocals, I've got a video on how to get the best sound possible when you're recording. So. If you haven't seen those, have a look in the description, I'll leave links. But for now, let's just record a bit of our dialogue. So you might think, if you go right to the beginning with the transport bar, hit record, and you can just record straight over it. But by default, it's going to start recording at the end of the track. If you want to punch in, as they call it, where you're recording over, you're overdubbing, recording over an another piece of audio, you can hold the shift key, and you can see it changes the record into in, into this button here to punch in or record new track. Now when we do that, hold shift and click it or just press or just press R, which is the record button. So hold shift, press R or click. It's recording onto a new track. Now I can hear that, um, hear that audio in the background. I'm going to turn that up. So then so then I can record my dialogue over it. Hello everyone, this is Joe and I'm recording some dialogue over a piece of music. There we go. Now if you listen back, if you've got a nice pair of closed back headphones that aren't gonna be picking up any bleed, you should be able to solo your voice. Record my dialogue over it. Hello everyone, this is... And just hear your voice, or you can solo the music and just hear the music, or solo neither of them, and then you can hear your, your voice over the music. So then I can record my dialogue over it. Hello everyone, this is Joe and I'm recording. So there we go. And now when you export your project, it's gonna export both of them together into one audio file, which we'll be going over in a later video. You now know how to record over a backing track and how to multi-track record. In the next part, part 11, it's gonna be the last video on recording in this course. We're gonna find out how to record two sources at once. So for example, how to record your vocals and your guitar at the same time, or how to record two, two speakers in a podcast with two different mics. You'll find out in part 11, and then we're gonna be moving on to editing. So hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you're the first to know when that comes out. Leave a like if this video helped you. And let me know in the comments section below, do you record to a backing track or are you multi-track recording? Let me know what, what you're making. It'd be good to get a discussion going. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in part 11.